Calvin football with their first win. First, I believe, technically first varsity win in their program's history. And they did it in a big-time way over over, and they put a 50-bomb up there. That was something that was uh, quite impressive, and I'm trying to – I'm grabbing the, the video here in just a second. But a little bit of a Gatorade bath after that one. The Calvin Knights got things rolling. I uh, admittedly did not have this one on this weekend. It did not make the slate on my living room TV. Did you get to see any of this one? I did not either. So, shame on us, you know, huh? We got we got to be honest on the Division One redirects. We can't be lying. <laughs> I did see the uh, the Wabash hundred hundred plus yard uh, fumble return touchdown. And my my grandpa James Hannah Martin the first well, was a Wabash Little Giant. So I always have a little soft spot for him. I like that. I like that. Always um, cheering for the little giants. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm pulling up the uh, sorry the box score from that Calvin game because the offensive performance from, from from them was not something that we were expecting against an Oberlin squad that we knew probably wasn't going to be uh, of a very high caliber, if you will. But for Calvin, if you're putting up 50 points against anyone, I think that is uh, impressive and impressive. Excuse me, enough in its own right. Chase Bradman for Calvin, 18 for 31, 173 yards and four touchdowns. Maybe not the most efficient, but uh, scoring a lot of points for them. They split up the load in the backfield quite a lot. The quarterback had 10 carries. You had uh, Jair Harden, looks like, with 15, and then Jackson Cook with 10. So spreading that out, there were actually, look at that, there's almost 10 different nights that got a carry on the ground in this one, Jimmy, which... I mean, that happens when you get up big time in some of these games, especially for a new program where you're trying to figure a lot out and get a bunch of guys in the field. Had uh, a couple guys over 50 yards. Hunter Hogan with two touchdowns on the day for the Knights as well. And then some big time defensive performances. How about Trevor Martins with two TFLs? One of those was a sack. And then two interceptions from Dylan DeHoop there, big time. And uh, they had three on the day as a team. Three different guys getting to the quarterback for sacks. So I guess a long way of saying definitely a group effort for this Calvin squad. And I, it's going to be very interesting, I guess, to see where the ceiling is for this group as they move on throughout the year. They go this next week. They're on the road, actually, for the next three weeks at Concordia, Wisconsin, then at Anderson University in Indiana, and then at Kalamazoo. And that's when they start their uh, conference play in the MIAA. So we will see what the ceiling is for this Calvin squad. Certainly the bar isn't incredibly high because guess what? There is no bar. Uh, but you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But uh, definitely going to be exciting to see what their ceiling is, Jim. For sure. We'll be, we'll be cheering for our Monday one rejects at, for sure. You know, we like those new teams. We like those new programs. You know, we'll be cheering for them. Absolutely. <laughs>